Welcome to the Raw Food Doctor. My name is Dr. Ali Amiri, and today is day number six of my juice feast. I feel great. In fact, I feel so great that today I was able to help sponsor Sarah Jameson as she attempted to run 100 kilometers in one day. And uh, wow, what a day. I want to show you what we did to prepare um, some foods for Sarah. And one of the first things we did was prepare some bars. We've got three different homemade bars for her. Um, I want to show you what this looks like because my mom and I made these uh, about two nights ago. And she really, really gobbled these up. I hope you can see this. This one is made of almonds, which have been soaked and sprouted. We put in dates, coconut flakes, lemon juice, lemon zest, vanilla beans, salt, hemp seeds, and then we roll them in Golgi berries. And uh, then we wrap them around into these little uh, uh, paper, uh, these little paper containers, roll them up. And then we've got two different varieties. Actually, we've got three different varieties. One of them was made with sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, which have also been soaked and sprouted. We also added raisins, cacao powder, coconut flakes, lemon juice, and vanilla bean in these to give a bit of a different flavor. And I think these were her favorite ones because she really liked the chocolate. The other thing we supplied her with was uh, Golgi berries. She didn't really eat too many of these. We also gave her some figs and some dried apricots from Turkey. She wasn't a big fan of those, um, but she really liked the bars. Um, one other thing we went big on was coconut water. And I want to show you what we did. We went to TNT, bought a whack load of coconuts, uh, cut them open, and then separated the water, poured the water out. We had this whole thing filled with coconut water. And this one over here, I think we ended up getting about four liters of coconut water from that. So she chugged that down whenever she was thirsty. And then her, the rest of her hydration needs were met with um, some Kangen water, run through a Kangen machine, so it was very alkaline, structured water. Um, to start off the morning, she started having a smoothie, and the smoothie contained the coconut meat from the coconut, so we tossed that in the blender, and I also threw in a bunch of different fruits to give her lots of energy, so we threw in bananas, mangoes, and um, hand-picked blueberries that I picked last summer which were frozen. We put in some spinach to give her some protein, about 10 grams of protein and a bunch of spinach that went into this smoothie. We put in Golgi berries, hemp seeds for uh, a little bit more protein, some dates to make it sweet and give her energy, and some almonds that have been soaked, sprouted, and then dehydrated. We tossed those in there. And then to fill out the water again, we used Kangen water. Um, and uh, so she started the day off with this. She had a bit of this on the run, but uh, I don't think it, it's, it's that well with her because she hadn't tried it before. Um, again, I think her favorite thing were the bars. She really went to town on the bars. I also had some apples ready for her and um, some almonds and a few other snacks. So she, for her run, she ate, I would say, probably 95% raw. One thing that she really enjoyed were these pretzels. I think she had about a handful of those, but other than that, she was 95% raw. And uh, the whole purpose behind her run today, her goal was to run 100 kilometers for International Women's Day and um, the Walk in Her Shoes Foundation, which raises money for women, some of the poorest women around the world. And so she fundraised uh, just a little over $5,000. She's still accepting pledges for that. I want to show you the route that she went on. So here is a map of Vancouver. She started right off here in her old high school in North Vancouver. And then from here, we went down this route over to Deep Cove. And uh, actually, I joined her for most, I, I biked along with her for this whole journey here. And then she, she took off, went down here, Dollarton Highway, over to North Van. And then this part was pretty crazy as she came up to Grouse Mountain and then just ran all the way up to here to basically the chairlift to Grouse Mountain, came back down. And then I joined her back over here and then we went all the way along the seawall to West Van and then back and then I jumped on my bike and then we went over to Stanley Park over here over the Lionsgate Bridge and then we went all the way around Stanley Park back through downtown over the Canby Bridge and then right around here about 73, 74 kilometers 
um, and we maxed out there. The goal was to go all the way around to UBC and then come back over the bridge, over to North Van to make 100 kilometers. But really what happened was it was absolutely um, just really, really freezing all day long. And uh, that was my biggest challenge because I, I, walked, and I walked a good chunk of, chunk of the course with her and rode my bike. I think all together with the walking and the biking, I, it was about 30, 40 K that I did. And my biggest challenge was it was freezing. Like it was, when we started the day off, uh, the parking lot was frozen. I couldn't even ride my bike. I had to walk out to the street because I was gonna wipe out. It was, I'd say the average temperature for the whole day was like five degrees. Um, so she's a, she's a trooper. She ran 73 kilometers today on about 95% raw food. And I wanna show you what I did. Uh, most of my, actually all my nutrition came from juice because I'm on day six of my juice feast. And what I had to start off today was a lemon ginger blast, lemons, apples, ginger, and um, a little bit of habanero. So I, st I started the day off with a liter of this. Then I went over to the super green juice. So I made this last night. And in here I put in carrot tops, cilantro, parsley, dandelion greens, which great liver detoxifier, and celery. Speaking of carrot tops, I was at Whole Foods yesterday picking up some carrots. As you can see, we just got like a whack load of carrots for the rest of the week. And look what I picked up for free. I got this whole, I'm super excited. Look at this, a whole box of carrot tops for free. And the guy there said he, I could go there every day at like 10 o'clock and pick up a box of carrot tops. So that is awesome for juicing because actually most of the nutrition, if you look at beets, most of the nutrition is in the beet tops and the greens. And the same thing with carrots. So you throw this through a juicer, you're gonna get tons of alkalizing, rehydrating, and energizing power with the antioxidants, phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals, it's all in there. So I, I slammed that down and then I had, this whole thing was about two liters of carrot, celery, cucumber. And I went really high on the carrots to give me lots of energy for the biking and the walking that I did today. Um, and then to finish it off, I had about uh, two liters of um, the coconut water. So. I drank about, I'd say, like five liters of juice and water today, um, and uh, I feel great. So there you go. Six days of juice, lots of exercising, anything's possible on a raw food diet. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just getting ready for the rest of the week. I got the carrots, I got uh, the apples, the lemons. Um, I just bought a whack load of greens and kale, cilantro and parsley and dandelion greens. So we're ready to rock for the rest of this week. And I, I really wanted to uh, congratulate Sarah for running 74 kilometers on raw foods around Vancouver, raising money. Um, and I'll, I'll put on a clip to show you the interview that we did with her uh, earlier on the day during the race. Peace and blessings. Till next time, please friend me on uh, YouTube, friend me on Facebook, um, and, uh, and just rate below. Thanks for following me on this, and I'll see you next week. Peace and blessings.